Welcome to a very special, very special Giller episode of Books in 140 Seconds. Today we're going to decide which of these books should win the Giller. We have five beautiful books before us, but only one can be Canada's next top Giller winner. So we're going to go through them and tell you what we think, and then at the end we, we will deliberate throwing open the doors from the secret jury. <laughs> None of that. And we will tell you which book we think should yeah. win. Unfortunately, we don't have a noted fashion photographer in our midst, but I think we'll do that. Just maybe. First up, we have David Bergen's The Matter with Morris. It's an expertly done book that takes you inside the head of 50-year-old Morris, whose son was recently killed in Afghanistan fighting for our dear country, which is very appropriate, November 11th coming up. It's a well-done book. Um, takes you inside his head. I liked it, but not being a 50-year-old man, I found it hard to really connect with the character. And I think ultimately that's going to be this book's downfall for us. Next up, Joanna Skibbs reads The Sentimentalist. This is the story of one young woman trying to connect with her father, who's a Vietnam war veteran. And unfortunately, I think the limitation of this beautifully written book is an inability for readers to connect with the characters and to connect kind of all the disparate bits of it together. And so this this is a tough book. It's definitely the dark horse book, but probably isn't going to be the one to take home the prize. Anyways, next up we have Annabelle by Kathleen Winner, the thrice nominated book, which should win something. Look at all these stickers. Um, it takes us inside the family who has a child in Labrador who is born both male and female parts, and then they just have to make decisions that affect this child's life forever. This book brings Labrador to life. It brings these characters to life. I personally have an aversion to anything rural or anything historical or anything that is this long and talks about the landscape forever, but Jen doesn't. And, and that's all that matters. That's really all that matters here. Yes. So, so they, these stickers exist for a reason. Mostly because Jen Nock likes it. Yeah, those my stickers are in the mail. Yeah, they're coming. Um, next up, Light Lifting, short story collection by Alexander McLeod. This is a collection of stories kind of about um, working class Canadian men, women, mostly men. Um, they are very well written, very taught, um, certainly by a writer who is made an outstanding debut. However, I think it is a debut and he, like his father, will have a long career ahead of him so that we may see him in future Giller conversations, but he may not take this one home right now. Yep. So next up we have Sarah Selecki's This Cake is for the Party. We didn't have a book on hand. We feel this is more than an excellent substitute and representation of the book. And Sarah has a really rich collection in which takes us into everyday moments that have major impacts in her characters' lives. And I think it's a fantastic debut collection. It's very well done. It's very well edited. It's Has very cohesive. Always a winner. Um, look, you can make a party out of it. So everybody wins. Can eat it. <laughs> well, our uh, version. However, I feel that the lack of adventure in this book, both as her being pushing herself as a writer, um, it's going to hold her back. So, that's five books. All right, first up, who should win? We both collectively agree, not should win, going to win, that Annabelle is most likely to take home the prize. It's the most Guillory book. It's a novel, which I think has an advantage. It's the most commercially viable, which I also think has an advantage, despite how bizarro this jury panel has been. Um, it it's just... It's a very sophisticated, mature book. It, it deals with some sensitive subject matter. It has a deep connection to the landscape. It mm -hmm. comes off as very Canadian. Yeah, it's um, very Canadian. It's well done. The characters come to life. He managed to connect herself with three different characters. She possibility brings... of having a good cry. Mm -hmm. Always a good thing. Mm -hmm. And especially, this is a group of books with three very new, very immature writers who are sure to have stellar things ahead of them. But I think that the Giller is not the place to award those types of writers. This is the place to really pick something that represents Canadian literature right now, something that's exciting, something that's new, something that an author has been working on for a while. And I feel Kathleen Winner is poised at this mm -hmm. point in her career to be a Giller winner, and I think that helps too. We talked about the David Bergen novel also being quite a mature novel, um, but, you know, he's taken home of the prize before, mm -hmm. and you don't want to be a greedy bitch, basically. No, no, um, David, you've had one. And I just don't think it's as universally accessible. Totally not. Or 
as emotionally riveting as nope. Annabelle. So if we're going to weigh these two against each other, Annabelle takes them home for sure. I do think the most likely dark horse is going to be light lifting by Alexander McLeod just because he's such a master of the prose and each story is so riveting and visceral and just, he takes you places and I appreciate that. And I think everyone's going to love the story of Alistair McLeod's son stepping up and taking home the prize. It's a feel good tale. It is a feel good tale. And if any jury panel is going to award this to a short story collection, it's going to be, be this, this journal. journal. Absolutely. So yeah, I would put my money on Annabelle, but would not be too surprised if McLeod takes it home. Um, I'd love to see this win only because it's a party and it has cake and that's all it matters. So now but, we're going to go have a party. Maybe we'll make that cake. Mm -hmm. Can we please? And so that's it. And who do you think will win the Giller? Answer in the comments below. You beg, please. Thanks we for can't watching. Have our cake. I it's hope it was me. very, very special for you as well as for us. Regular books in 140 seconds returns in two weeks. In two one weeks. Week. Two weeks. On a Thursday mm -hmm. at some point. At 1.40 p.m. Who knows? Ooh. Eastern Standard Time. Of course. Goodbye. It's the only time that matters. <laughs>